Hello guys, this is Exponential Information, the best place for online tech news and more. And today we're going to be comparing the PS5 versus the Xbox Series X. Now if you haven't checked out my other videos from this series, this three part video series, then go ahead and check it out. So the first thing we're going to go into is prices. Now the PS5 price is set to be $499 USD or $599, so it's going to be pretty expensive this year. And the Xbox Series X is planned to be around the same price. And Microsoft said they ain't playing no games when it comes to the price this year because prices really matters with consumers wanting to buy it. So make sure you save your money because they're both coming out holidays this year during like the November to December place where all Thanksgiving stuff like's happening. So they making it release around that time. So when people shopping for Christmas, they will go ahead and pick up their console. Now some games that's planned on coming out on the consoles for Xbox, they're gonna have Halos and a whole bunch of shooters like that. Rainbow Six Siege and stuff like that because that's what Xbox is known for. And PS5 is gonna have games like Ghost of Tsushima, um, Watch Dogs Legions, and a whole bunch more games that will pop up on the screen right now. Now going right into the specs, the PS5 will support 8K resolution and also ray tracing, which is ultra graphics like Minecraft have on Java Edition where it upgrades the shaders and graphics. And the Xbox will also support XK, 8K resolution and 4K resolution like the PS4 does and also ray tracing. But to support 8K resolution, you will need an 8K TV. But it always has 4K resolution. Now, Xbox Series X is said to have custom processors and other mechanics that requires the device to work. There's no say that the PS4 won't have any of that either. But the Xbox is definitely for sure. <laughs>